The Republican primary is already over. Donald Trump has built massive leads in every single state. He leads by more than 30 points nationally. Meanwhile, his top opponent, Ron DeSantis, is undergoing a massive collapse. Darling, it's so sad. DeSantis has fallen more than 10 points in the polls. Rupert Murdoch's media empire, which includes Fox News and The Wall Street Journal, have begun running negative stories against DeSantis. DeSantis isn't raising enough money and is already being forced to cut campaign staff. His campaign reached a new low when it shared a video featuring DeSantis against the backdrop of a Sonnenrod, a Nazi symbol that has been adopted by modern white nationalists. Now, they're trying to resuscitate his dead campaign for a third time. It's not going to work. Ron DeSantis will not be president in 2024. Surging to third in the polls is entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy. Is he a serious threat to Trump? No. In fact, he may be running interference for Donald Trump. Ramaswamy has frequently praised Trump and has led the push to have all GOP candidates promise to pardon Trump if he's convicted of a crime. Trump loves Ramaswamy so much he posted this on Truth Social. The thing I like about Vivek is that he only has good things to say about President Trump, and all the Trump administration has so successfully done, this is the reason he is doing so well. Trump advisors believe Ramaswamy is angling for a cabinet position with one bluntly stating he wants to be considered for VP. With DeSantis floundering and a Trump ally in third, where does that leave the rest of the GOP field. Former Vice President Mike Pence, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, and former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie are all hovering around 5%. Mike Pence has lost favor with the pro-Trump crowd. He's not going to win. Nikki Haley is pulling third in her home state. She's not going to win. Chris Christie hasn't been relevant since 2018 and has already lost a primary to Trump in 2016. He's not going to win. The only other serious candidate in the race right now is South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. Recent polls show him gaining ground in Iowa and New Hampshire. But despite his popularity in his home state, he's currently polling fourth in South Carolina, a whopping 38 points behind Donald Trump. Right now, there just doesn't appear to be any hope for a non-Trump candidate. So. How quickly would Donald Trump secure the GOP nomination? Let's take a look at the map. Trump leads Iowa by 30. He leads New Hampshire by more than 20. He's leading Nevada by 30. And he leads South Carolina by more than 25. These results would put Trump around 90 delegates, nearly double the rest of the field combined. At this point, we'd see candidates like Chris Christie and Nikki Haley drop out, likely throwing their support behind Donald Trump. But even if most of the field drops out after South Carolina and Nevada, it probably won't have much of an impact on Michigan as the state votes just four days later. And believe it or not, the latest poll actually shows Trump leading by 56. He'll pick up most, if not all, of Michigan's 55 delegates, expanding his lead and demoralizing the rest of the field heading into Super Tuesday. And Super Tuesday is where this will pretty much all be over. Alabama, Arkansas, California, Maine, Massachusetts, Minnesota, North Carolina, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, and Virginia all vote on Super Tuesday. The two most important states, because they award the most delegates, are California and Texas. Well, Trump currently leads California by 30 points, which should net him at least 100 of the state's 169 delegates. Trump is already north of 50% in Texas, leading the latest polls by more than 30 points in a crowded field and more than 20 in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Trump will also likely have been endorsed by Ted Cruz, who is facing his own tough re-election campaign in 2024. Based on current polling, Trump should earn at least 100 of Texas's 162 delegates. For a good measure, Trump also leads in Maine, Massachusetts, Minnesota, North Carolina, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Utah, and Virginia. By the end of Super Tuesday, Donald Trump will be ahead by about 300 delegates. Most of his opponents will have dropped out. Several will have endorsed him. He'll feel inevitable because he will be inevitable. The most delegate-rich state left on the map will be Florida, which, surprise, surprise, Trump is already winning by around 20 points. Can the GOP do anything to stop Trump? Probably not, but there's one potential path. Trump has consistently pulled worse in head-to-head -head matchups than he does in a crowded field. If the GOP can consolidate around a solid candidate, Please clap. I said a solid candidate. Well, first of all, the woke mind virus is basically a form of cultural Marxism. A solid candidate before Iowa, there may be a shot to defeat Trump, but that's still pretty unlikely. Or the GOP could pin their hopes to a criminal Trump conviction, but I'm not sure that would even stop him from winning the primary in 2024. We're heading full steam ahead towards a rematch of the 2020 presidential election between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. How's it going to go in 2024? Check out my next video to find out.